silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarenes, Gabal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor. They became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb, and like Zeb, yea, all their princes as Zeba, and as Zalmanah, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the Most High over all the earth. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people, and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces, and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts? Okay, family, today we're getting into one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I reshared this on my Facebook. He got thousands of views. But for YouTube, I want to drive traffic to his channel so he gets credit for what he's done. I even do it on Facebook. Like, he's in the comments pinned in my Facebook journal. People laughed at it. I know he's got some traffic from Facebook that's probably mostly from me. Because he's pinned to this video. Uh, now check this out, guys. I want to show you all, all. All when Moses was taken up to Mount Nebo in Deuteronomy chapter 34 and shown the promised land. Mr. Kuameo does a great breakdown right here. Look, he shows everybody this is the promised land. So when they get in my comments and they call me whatever, they call me a racist. If you if you know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm talking about. People be laughing. Y'all see this? There's a lot of laughs there. But there's way more likes than laughs. Trust me. Because some people are for the cutting off at the end of the age. Just like the apocalypse of Abraham says. They're going to be cut off at the end of the age. Because they don't want to accept the truth. Even when it's presented to them. So you know how the Bible says. People. Uh, light has come into the world. And people would rather see darkness. People. People. People love darkness, and it's a shame that lights come to the world. There's a verse just like that. I, I, I'll actually put it in the comments or in the uh, description. I'm also putting a link to his video in the description. So please go subscribe to Kuda Mayo. Please check out his content. He has great content. Um, he's a lot of uh, original sources. I'm always wondering how he gets all these books. He's a lot of great stuff, man. So I'm going to show you guys this. Significant about Moab, Utah, that this actually is in the. All right. We can go back a little bit. Ireland and Chaldea videos. Where was Abraham really probably coming from? Where was Chaldea? Most likely in Ireland before Abraham was sent to Canaan with his family to uh, be the father of many nations. So right here, they're already in Canaan, all right? Moses and them, they were in Egypt in captivity, right? In the Mississippi, Ohio, Mount Valley. They had to escape. They ended up in Utah. We're going to show you that today. All right. So again, the very first location that Moses went up from the plains of Moab. All right. We're on Google Earth. We're going to touch the hijack with the, uh, you know, the balls. The fear. Also, subscribe to my channel, guys. I know lots of YouTubers with great drop. If you're looking to investigate this stuff further, I can put you on. If you check my other videos, I'm also going to be shouting out, uh, Probably after this one, doing a little breakdown on uh, another guy in another video. So if you guys actually want to know who I'm talking about, I'm going to be dropping 
these names periodically through the videos. If y'all want to go check them out. Balls. All right. Now, is there a Moab in Utah? Let's look that up. So Moab, Utah. All right. And we do have a place here. So you can see we're going to go right to it. Moab, Utah. And what's significant about Moab, Utah, that this actually is in a plane. As you can see, this is a plane. Very flat area, surrounded by desert and a little bit of hills and mountains. All right. This is a plain. The plains of Moab. All right. As it says here, Moses went up from the plains of Moab. All right. Moab. Moab city in Utah. Just want to show you some of these pictures. Look at this. All right. This is the archways and the desert that is there. All right. You see all this prestige of land. Utah. Utah. All right, Moab. All right, Moab. Cook and the they plains know this is of our land. Moab. They been knew that, family. They been knew that, family. You know, they came here, they saw our shit was lit, bro. And they came, they took our land, bro. And look, now people are accept People that will accept this is the promised land won't accept that we're the people. But we went through all the curses of Deuteronomy here. Y'all can't say we not the people, bro. Y'all, y'all don't match those. Go check out Kudameo's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 38 video. If you check out my video, I drop him in the other video. All drop. Back on the verse, we have Shout out drop nation. him going from the plains of Moab onto the mountain of Nebo. Onto the what? mountain. So he went from Moab, the plains of Moab, onto the mountain of Nebo. Now, is Mount Nebo in Utah too? All right, so we're going to type Mount Nebo, and look what comes up right away, Mount Nebo, Utah. All right, we're going to go to Mount Nebo, Utah from Moab. As you can see here, it's taking us there. Oh, Mount Nebo, it's just right over here. Mount Nebo, look at that. Mount Nebo, look how high that is, right? From the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo. All right, some of the pictures here. Mount Nebo, yes, Mount Nebo is in Utah, all right? And it's actually a lot taller, a lot taller than the fake Mount Nebo in Palestine today, all right? We're going to show that later on today. I'm going to show you guys that, all right? Again, Mount Nebo, all right? It told us that Moses went up from the plains of Moab onto the mountain of Nebo. So real quick, just want to show you on Google Maps, as you guys can see, Moab down here, right? The plains of Moab, right? A plain, and it goes up to a mountain, Nebo. A mountain. Hey guys, but you can just Google, you can do this yourself. I'm not going to watch this whole video. And besides that, I want you to go check out Kuda Mayo's job. Um, he's in the link in the description. Um, definitely a lot of drop there, guys. Um, like I said, it's real. We're going we're gonna to close this video by playing this. Okay, family. Current news and prophecy awakening. This is the DK Foreman Weekly Report. And now, DK Foreman. Now let me say something right quick. I think back on the African, Af- African-American people in America. I think how they were taken against their wills in the belly of ships brought over here, beat, cussed, many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, say, because I had an experience with it. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. Now, some people I say, they when come you on experience church. hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got a problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying. And shut your mouth. You Look at this guy. Mouth. Y'all got to play that back. Look at that guy. You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you was raised in the deep south. You was raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people you better get that out of your system 
You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Now, that's a bit of a lie, too, because they want you to believe in this. And th these are the conditions they show you when they show you slave trade conditions. Um, there's a guy with a video on that. We're going to be doing a breakdown and shout out to his channel, too. So if you subscribe to my channel, I mean, look for this. We do we do in-depth breakdowns. And usually this is going to keep short because people don't watch all the videos anyway. So I'm going to keep it short. But if you want to go check those out, I got them. You know, they're in my channel. Check this out. That's what they want you to believe in. Anybody believe in that? All right. I'll tell you one thing. Logistically, this makes no sense. What you would have to do to make this work is feed and clean up after all these people because they're going to pee and poop on themselves. They're tied down. You can't let too many off at the same time. Letting one off is dangerous. You know what I mean? So, and you got to bring food and provision for them. Now, here's a very good question. If we're Africans and these Native Americans are the Native American people who are always here on this land, right? Why do black people who they claim they bought in numbers and most people wouldn't survive these conditions on three month voyage? Why would they bring these people? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would they bring these? Sorry, I'm saying this wrong. Why would we outnumber these people? It makes no sense, family. And when you start to understand, like, it's all a lie, bro. It's all a lie. We're the Aborigines. Okay? That's all a lie. They came to our land. It was a mystical land of wonder, and, and they, they they subdued the land with violence. Check out my uh, Deuteronomy chapter 34 video. Or I'll leave it in the description, bro. I'll leave Kudameo's video in the description. I'll leave my video in the description. And we can uh, get into that. But you know what? I'm going to cut this video so it's not too long so people actually watch some of it. If you want to get into this information, I'm giving you good places to start. I have some of my own breakdowns. None, none of those uh, none of those people, Kudameo, I mentioned. Uh, nobody except for the one I'm not going to mention because he's a big drop. I'm going to drop him later in another video. If you all want to stay tuned, you're going to get you're going to get a big drop. We'll give you a big drop. Now, you might not like what he says, but what he says is true. And he all he always backs it up with scripture. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end this. Peace and love, fam. Most high, please bless this and let, let everybody see your truth and who your people are and what's really going on and the, the, the great lie in the way they deceived the whole world like the Bible predicted they, Satan and his people would deceive the whole world. All right, fam.